Oh well. Welcome to Curry's Adventure Part One. Me Part Two. Nah, nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> part Two, Level Two. So apparently Kirby can be assaulted by his own dreams. Yes, and he's dreaming while there's no dreams available. He has a main character privilege. <laughs> it's a privilege <laughs> to be able to dream. <laughs> <laughs> a puffball can dream. A puffball can dream. The Kirby smile at the parasol Kirby picture. <laughs> he's so happy. Well, that parasol's actually rather deadly. It destroys coconuts. Explode but can it shoot bullets? <laughs> but can it shoot bullets? It can in later games. Huh. Ow. And you lost it. Oh, there you go. Oh, uh, uh, oh there you uh. go. <laughs> <laughs> in a Kirby game, you should not. You should never fall into a pit. Ever. Did you just? Did the enemy just kill itself? <laughs> These enemies are suicidal. <laughs> Kirby's here. The stationary parasol shall kill all of them. <laughs> exactly, the stationary parasol. Ow. <laughs> it's like running into a parked car and killing yourself. <laughs> what if the parasol just has, like, spikes all over it? Like, miniature spikes. Well, that, that's oh, a fucked up parasol. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Oh, wait, oh, oh. Troll. Okay. Troll, just let it go. It's not coming back. <laughs> Now, correct me, correct me if I'm wrong, was, was there actually a Kirby game where Kirby couldn't fly infinitely? Um, Kirby 64. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the one I remember. Yeah, Kirby 64, he couldn't, he couldn't fly infinitely. After a while, after a while, he starts losing his breath and falling to his death. <laughs> um, and then I think in Kirby Superstar, if you fly for too long, he's, his flight ability starts getting slower, more sluggish. Kirby has asthma? Apparently. Huh. And catcher. Okay, so this game, um, basically, op uh, open your open your mouth to eat the, eat the eggs. Close your mouth to not eat bombs. Ow. Oh. Three thousand points. Do you get anything for that, or is it just points? If you get enough, you get an extra life. Oh, okay. After that, bragging rights. <laughs> ah, so worthless. <laughs> yes. Let it be known that only in Kirby's role can breath kill you. <laughs> Are you sure he's just not taking a good, uh, um, a loud burp. Could be that too. You know that onions, man. And besides, Kirby eats everything. Nothing shall be spared. And he has no teeth. He doesn't have to brush. You're right. He doesn't. Oh god, the lag. Just let me breathe fi fire and shit on the frame rate. See, the problem with Kirby, with the Kirby game, there's so many different, there's so many things that go around it, um, that it, it can, it can easily cause lag. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's understandable. Not to mention the enemies respawn as soon as you kill them. Well, that's like an old NES type thing, right? Yeah. Well, Kirby games will... still do it up to this, even up to this day. Well, yeah, but that's just so you can like retrieve a power if you accidentally lose it. Yeah. I mean, I the thing I find annoying about this game is that um, as soon as you get hit, you immediately lose a power. At least later on, they kind of changed it a bit. Did they? Uh, it's been a while since I played a Kirby game, so but, did you not lose a power when you get hit with it? Well, no, it's just a little more forgiving in the sense that you have to get sometimes. I think you have to get hit a certain amount of times before Kirby actually starts to lose the power. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Now, now that you see that, yeah, you're right. You're right. It was really annoying in like um, we call it in the mirror, the one with the mirror. What was it called? Um, uh, me, uh, amazing yeah, mirror. Yeah, amazing mirror. Yeah, because like a lot of times to like progress, you need like certain power ups, right? And like yeah, for like metal blocks where you need like the fire one, um, the one that you like really specific with power ups. So like if you lose it, you got backtrack all the way to like another part of the level. It was really annoying. Yeah. And that, that, that's never a good time. Yeah. Yeah, so they, I think they set up so that you don't you don't lose the power as easily. Ooh, UFO. UFO hype. It's actually it's actually the OP power up in this game. So it makes you feel like shit when you lose it. Um, does the fighter have the Hadouken in this? Or is it There is no fighter. Oh, in there's this no game. fighter? Alright. No. Um if you played the remake though, you'd actually get the fighter um 
the fighter you can get the fighter hat but but it's kind of but only for like one of the grab power-ups again there's a lot of there's a lot of power-ups in this game that that later on become combine into like into one like the uh, fire breath for example that combines with the fire um, the fire tackle um, in, in later games but in this game they're both separate oh, okay oh no you don't oh yes I do <laughs> I just like to ask, what are those like? What are those jelly things like? The ones that look like those Easter Island heads. I think called Kaboo. If I remember correctly. Oh yeah, this is better than sending his moves against Kirby for like, well, pretty much to die. <laughs> Test He's your not strength. Mad enough to fight. He's not mad enough <laughs> to fight Kirby himself. <laughs> well, apparently this is his way of training Kirby to see if he if he has what it takes to save Dr um, Dreamland. <laughs> So he can't tell. So really, we don't know if he's actually a good guy or a bad guy because he's sending his books to die. Oh no! I wasn't trying to kill you. I was just training you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're accusing me that I'm actually trying to kill you? Of course not. They weren't gonna really hit you with the sword. I mean, come on now. <laughs> he's like, hey, why are you looking at me like that? I gave you candy, and it made you invincible. That's some really good candy. Actually, there's this one sprite animation um, that I saw, like when Kirby eat, when Kirby uh, ate the candy, he just basically became. Uh... Oh yeah, this is the museum. This is where you can. Um... Well, basically, these things have a miserable existence because they're just there to get eaten by Kirby. Exactly. Like, <laughs> why are they there? Why not just leave? <laughs> That's what I do. And if you touch them, they just die upon contact. These things really don't want to live. <laughs> Ow. Well, shit. Can you go backwards in these games? Yeah, you can. Okay. Ow. I don't really know why you would though, but you can. Well, in this type of game, there's it's a, it's a little more explorative because there you can actually there's actually um, there's actually like switches that you can activate, but sometimes you need certain power ups in order to get to it. So. Ah. And then the, what the switches usually do, they usually like reveal like a like an, an extra door, like for for mini games and stuff. Oh, okay. What should I take? You there. Now this is a truly sad existence. <laughs> You're trapped in the trapped room where you can't see outside the walls and then something just sucks you through the walls and eats you. And that was a boss. Mini boss anyway. I do like how later games they kinda gave they gave the mini bosses a theme. Uh the mic doesn't have the crazy animations in this, right? Uh, a little bit of it. And you won't be seeing the third one. <laughs> <'Cause I have laughs> to... What power-up is go. this? Oh, beam. A laser. Oh, laser. A laser. Well, okay, well, yeah, same thing. <laughs> I, think in, I think in German it's called the beam. What an odd thing to change. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shooting my laser beam. And then suddenly uh, Kirby became Frieza. <laughs> And then you lost. Eh, never mind. There you go. Actually, the fact that you lose a powers upon contact is very spotty in the throughout the series. Because some games, some games Kirby will lose that as soon as he gets hit. There's other games he'll like he'll keep it like a few times. I guess they could just never make up their mind. Yeah. All right. I think it just depends how the, what the what the game's designed to be. Like like Kirby, like Kirby Amazing Mirror is more like an event. It's more like a adventure. While uh, like a game like Kirby's event, like Kirby's Adventure, is more like a point A to point B. Did you just say Kirby's Adventure twice. <laughs> well, okay, I meant okay, I meant the genre of adventure. But, oh. Yeah, oh, like, oh. Uh, the better term is like uh, um, the Metroidvania style, like of a uh, of a uh, Kirby Amazing Mirror. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh. I never liked the design of this boss. For no, I, th I think his name is Frosty. <laughs> He just always looks so derpy to me. <laughs> well, he's incredibly pathetic. All he does is try to uh, either charge at you or throw ice block at you. Now I know that the f this the ice the freeze power up changes Kirby's power. Does the does the fire power up do the same thing or no? No. Uh -huh. Wonder why. Uh, in the in the remake, uh, some of the powers give him like a slight tan. Yeah. <laughs> and he throws an umbrella. 
In midair, no less. Oh yeah, this thing's called. This is yeah. This is the freeze power, but then there's also one that sh that um, where Kirby shoots an ice breath called ice. So, uh, all right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I think I think they just did this just like save space rather than like putting a lot of programming because uh, Kirby's Adventure Canada showed up late in the uh, NES, you know, late in the NES cycle, and uh, if you eat two enemies at once, uh, you get a random. Like the RNG kicks in, and you can get like a random power up. Yeah, uh, I, does that happen in the uh, later Kirby games as well, or just this one? Yes, it does. All, all of them actually. Oh, okay. There, God, that's what I wanted. Uh, uh, no, there we go. And don't eat those guys. They give you sleep, Kirby. Yeah, which just does nothing. Just stalls you. <laughs> who? Yeah, who sleeps? <laughs> One thing I did like in Squeak Squad, in Squeak Squad you can actually power up the, the weapons you get by finding scrolls. And uh, for the sleep power up you can actually um, make Kirby heal. Oh, okay, so at least there's a benefit to going to sleep. A little bit. It doesn't, it doesn't heal a lot though. So do, uh, in Squeak Squad then, would those, do those last forever? Like all throughout the game or only for that level? Oh, the scrolls? Yeah. Uh, they last forever. Oh, okay. Uh, you'll see when we get to the game. Yes, I have the ability to, to record that game now that they recently re um, released it. Right after I ordered the yeah, game. Yeah, right so. after you ordered it. <laughs> I remember you telling me about that. Okay, give me that. I thought I needed it. I'm just saying. And the levels are really short, too. Well, yeah, but it's a short game. We have to go. You have to go through like a total of six stages for each world. But I do suspect that they kind of get progressively longer in each world. Each world you go to. And all the levels are based named on like food, right? Ice cream island. Food, food and alliteration. So uh, I think I think the first level, first world was vegetable va um, valley. This is ice cream island. And then later on, I think the next one is Butter Building. Now I'm getting really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Orange Ocean. Uh, Grape Garden. Marble Gart, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Rainbow Resort. Ow. He's really just ignoring me and just drawing stuff. Yeah, pretty, he just, you're just fucking up his day. <laughs> <laughs> you jerk. Hey, you made me. Well, Kirby just ate himself. <laughs> <laughs> Can I eat this? Yes. Can I eat this? Yes. Well, this is just disrespect. <laughs> Did they even finish his drawing? Exactly. <laughs> Poor bastard will never be remembered now. <laughs> <laughs> My legacy. All of them lunch to a pink blump. I see what you did. <laughs> Yep, butter building, you're right.